So once you open your Unreal Engine 5.7, now we have a new panel. Now we have to press new project and from here you can choose any default projects like you want. Let's go with a blank project and you can set here desktop and quality preset maximum or scable. Maximum will give you the highest quality as possible and the scable will give you enough quality but it will also ensure the performance as well. After that, you can choose a direction or directory like where you want to save your full project file. And here from the project name, you can choose whether what you want to give your project name. Suppose like, let's give it a take. Okay. And yeah, this. And then you can click on create. Now, once you click on create, it will be take a while to load up everything because I saw that the new one really in series basically took some time to load up everything and put up everything. So also it will depends on your project config and depends on your PC config as well. Once you have your engine like this, like your editor, it will be look something like that. So it has been changed lots of things. So you have to do some customize by yourself and it's going to be okay. Now as a window project, the first couple of things you have to do, go to project settings and here support a platform. Just remove all platform, disable Android, iOS, Linux, Mac, TVOS, and VisionOS. Now, if you have a question, bro, I have to make my game also that can support Mac as well. So at that point, you still don't have to give this one. Why? Because I already uploaded lots of game in Apple. I have a Mac Mini M2. I know that how a Apple system work or OS system work so it's total completely different you can use those files that you made in your window then you have to basically shift everything to your mac again it's better because if you go lots of youtube show you by remote bill it's super super hard to do everything it's so complex that setup include routing access and everything from a mac os getting certificates provision certificate it's so hard so that's why i always recommend a two different type of a uh, project for a Mac or and for a window so it will be much easier for you because window the Mac use dot file which is basically so different than the Windows one so you have to keep it in mind so that's why I always recommend if you are making the game for also for hours make a different project don't use this one just whenever you turn everything just migrate whole thing to your Mac one and it will be work more perfect okay now because we are only targeting for the window right now so we we'll just keep the window at here then you have to basically move to the main plugin settings why by default unreal engine has enabled lots of uh, unnecessary plugin suppose like an android so if you search here that on android you'll be fine lots of things like here and the device profile android media you don't need those now if you have a question, bro, I have also my device or game have to support Android. At that point, you have to make a separate mobile project. Now why? Now you have a bro, why are you making everything separate? Because the main issue is Android and mobile config is doesn't going to be support your this one, which is your by default target for maximum quality and desktop, which is basically use the shader SMC6. Okay, which is unusually not most well, most of cases it doesn't support Android very well. You have to use the Unreal Engine uh, mobile shader, which is ESTC 3.2 shaders standard, which is a totally different thing. That's why I recommend to make different projects for mobile, for iOS, for Android. Okay, it will be much easier to do everything. It will be much junky, less junky. Sorry. Okay, now once you have disabled the Android one, now you have to do also same thing for iOS. Just search iOS and you find here the Apple and iOS because you have to enable those particular plugin in your iOS device. Otherwise, if you enable any useless plugin like you are not even using, you have to still give lots of P list certificates, permission, and lots of you have to be hassle. That's why. Okay. Once you've done the iOS setup and the Apple last, you have to search that Google and you find pairs of Google and messaging and cloud service and etc. You have to just disable. Now your uh, project is more or less is ready. Now by default, most of you have to understand most of users doesn't like Lumen, so you can disable the Lumen. Okay, 
because Lumen is very RAM and graphics and gaming and stuff. Most of the price of GPU doesn't support Lumen. That's why I always recommend for now to disable the Lumen and later on, based on your need, you can enable this thing. Yeah, but in the 9x setting, you can keep it that because it's so crucial thing for Unreal Engine 5 series. Otherwise, you don't have any logic to use the Unreal Engine 5 series. Okay, so keep it the 9x is enabled. And voila, now you have a ready full project settings. Now, more or less about the packaging sector, it's totally different thing. I will show you in later on video how to export game for Windows and so on. So, thank you so much for watching. See you next video. Bye bye.